Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, it is always a very difficult task to basically visualize a higher dimension data. Let's say if you have 100 features, let's say if you have 200 features. Yes, we know some of the dimensionality reduction techniques like PCA, TSNE and many more, right? But what is the problem with this dimensionality reduction techniques? You will lose some amount of information. Let's say if I have 100 features and if I probably apply PCA, then, and if I try to convert that into two dimensions or three dimension, because as a human being, right, we can only see two dimension features or three dimension features, right? So if I try to convert this all features or reduce this dimensionality into two features or three features, you know that problem with PCA or TSNE techniques are that you lose good amount of information. And then you probably try to work with that specific data or apply some kind of machine learning algorithms. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about a new technique. Again, this is a dimensionality reduction technique, which is called as UMAP, Uniform Mani Manifold Approximation. In this specific technique, okay, similar to TSNE, it will try to reduce the number of dimensions, but this is far more superior than PCA or TSNE techniques. Why I'm saying you? I'll show you a practical example right now, and we'll try to see that how UMAP can be used to basically visualize higher dimensions. In short, when we reduce this into some smaller n number of dimensions, at that point of time, like suppose if I reduce it to two dimension or three dimension, the amount of information that is lost is a little bit less when compared to PC or TSNE. And again, there's an amazing research paper regarding this. You should definitely have a look onto that. If you probably want the theoretical explanation, make sure that you hit the like button, at least make it to 500. I'll definitely upload the theoretical explanation about UMAP. But today in this video, I really want to show you how UMAP actually works. Now, before we go ahead, there is a quick announcement regarding the Tech Neuron offered by iNeuron. So in Tech Neuron, if you don't know, it is an OTT platform with 200 plus courses. Currently, it has 240 courses. And along with this, you know, you also have all the live classes that is included. So live batches, whichever we run in every month, that will also be included in Tech Neuron. And currently we are launching the lifetime offer, which will be for a week. This is just for the, on the eve of Independence Day. We really wanted to help many people out who are not able to afford other courses. So through this, they will be able to get all the other courses along with that, all the live sessions also. The price of the course has also been reduced to 10,000 rupees. And if you're not satisfied just with 10,000, what you can do is that you can use a coupon code that is crush20 and then you'll be getting a 20% discount. So in 8,000 rupees, all these courses, along with many services, seven days you'll be having a doubt clearing session. You'll be having one-to-one -one mentorship. You'll be having probably uh, mock interviews, resume discussion. You can also raise a request with respect to any kind of courses that you want. So yes, uh, the offer just uh, is uh, for another four to five days. Please utilize this opportunity, okay? Now let me go back over here. <clears throat> Now over here, I have first of all taken an Irish data set. Here you can see sepal width, sepal uh, length, petal width, petal length. And I've just created a scatter matrix. And here you can see how my diagram is basically generated, right? So this is what is the plot that you can see. And obviously this is not a, like this is just like a two dimensional plot, right? With respect to different, different features. You can do the similar task with the help of Seaborn where you just need to write snh.pair plot with the entire DF. And here you can just write hui as the species so that it can actually categorize. So once you execute this, here you'll be able to see that you'll be getting a pair plot wherein it will try to show you the correlation between each and every features, right? Specifically independent features. That is what we are actually focusing on right now. Now, as you know, this will probably take some amount of time. So here you can see that your graph is ready. Now, already you know that we have four features, sepal width, sepal length, petal width, petal length, right? So four dimension. Now let's see when we reduce this number of dimension into two with the help of TSNE, how my data will look like. So here it is project the data into 2D with TSNE. So here I have taken all my features and then I'm just using TSNE. And when I write N underscore components is equal to two, that basically means I'm converting that four dimension into two dimension. And then I do fit transform on the feature. And then I'm plotting the scattered plot 
uh, with respect to all these projections and my x and y value right and here you can see i'm also provided my labels along with the color that i really want to specify with respect to my output feature so once i probably execute this let's see how we will be able to see it and here is how clearly we can see fine we have we have reduced this number of dimensions into two right all the four features and here by seeing this yes you can clearly separate it but what if i make or project this into three dimensions okay and obviously uh, if you have many number of features then again some amount of information is definitely lost now let's go ahead and see projecting the data into 3d with t s and e right the same technique that is dimensionality reduction technique here you can also use pca so here what i'm doing i have taken n underscore components as three that basically means it is going to convert this into three dimension and that is the reason why i've used scatter underscore 3d plot okay so once i execute it and here you'll be able to see this uh here obviously you'll be getting a three dimension so this is how it looks like now here you can see that okay fine my data points are completely jumbled right like yes there are a lot of overlapping still we are not able to properly see this entire dimensions you know uh, they are still overlapped data points and yes it is not that good when compared to uh, what we really want i really want this clusters to be completely separate now let's see this technique with the help of umap okay so first of all, to start with UMAP, you have to install slash pip install UMAP learn. So once you install this, the installation will happen. I have already installed it. Then all you have to do is that apply UMAP. And again, it is an efficient technique when compared to PCA and uh, TSNE. And if I give n underscore components is equal to two, that basically means it's going to convert into two dimension. And then I've also made sure that I convert this into three dimensions. So UMAP 2D, UMAP 3D. I do fit transform on the specific feature and I'm scat I'm just creating a scattered plot with respect to the two dimension and with respect to the three dimension. And once I see this, you will be able to see how beautiful diagram I'm able to get with respect to two dimension, right? Over here, all the data points are clearly separable with respect to two dimension. But the most interesting thing, what we saw over here with respect to three dimension, now you see with respect to three dimension, the magic is here. Now see this, how well your data points are clearly clustered, right? With respect to the data points that I have. This is definitely preserving more information when compared to PCA and TSNE. And this is the recent technique that has actually come and you can definitely use dimensionality reduction using UMAP, right? What an amazing technique. Again, uh, I hope you are able to understand this video. Definitely for any dimensional reduction technique, try to use UMAP. It is an amazing library altogether. Yes, try to make the likes to 500 at least. I will also upload the theoretical video uh, and we'll try to understand what is the in-depth mathematical intuition behind UMAP and how it is basically doing this dimensionality reduction such that much information is not lost. So yes, this was it from my side. I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Keep on rocking and yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.